Hey guys, Trevor Fitzgerald here with Fitzgerald Fishing. And I wanna to talk to you today about wacky worm fishing. So what makes the wacky worm so productive is the natural movement and the way it pulsates as it's fluttering down in the water column. And you can also twitch it like this to give it more lifelike action. The action that the wacky worm gives off is say, for example, a wounded bait fish or a bait fish that's a little more weak and the bass just cannot resist it. So there's a couple different ways that you can work the wacky worm. One of the most effective ways is literally to do nothing. Throw it out there, leave it on slack line, let it fall to the bottom, okay? Once it reaches the bottom, if you haven't already gotten a bite, what I like to do is I twitch it up back almost to the surface, let it fall again. So what it's doing is allowing that Senko to naturally pulsate to the bottom, and that's when you're gonna get your strikes. The other way to work this bait is throw it out, let it sink to the bottom, and then slowly twitch it, keeping it under the surface the entire time. So you're, you're giving it a lot of action. You know, um, if you're fishing around spawning fish that you can't see, this is a deadly technique. If you're around like a school of fish where you're trying to get the attention of them, this is a really good technique and way to work the bait as well. Now I'm gonna explain the setup I use for wacky fishing, starting with the bait itself. The worm is just a standard five inch Senko. I also utilize a VMC collar in the middle there. That's what actually attaches the hook to the bait and gives you a lot more longevity for the bait itself. The hook I really like for this technique is this one. This is the Hayabusa Special Wacky, and it's got a wire weed guard to make it more weedless. My rod and reel setup of choice for wacky fishing is the Brian Thrift Signature Series. It's a shaky head wacky worm, 610 medium heavy that Brian specifically designed for throwing wacky worms. I utilize our Fitzgerald Fishing Stunner 3000 reel paired with 10 pound Versa braid. And when it comes to the fluorocarbon leader, there's a lot of options. I mean, if you're fishing deep, clear water, I go with six. If you're fishing Florida heavy vegetation cover, I go all the way up to 15. For more tips and tricks, check out Fitzgerald Fishing on YouTube, and also be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms like Facebook and Instagram.